Daddy, where the camera's at. Daddy? Yes. MVP, like my dad is. Tell me about dad. No. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I don't bring any extra makeup. I might be going out on a date after this. Introducing the epitome of luxury living, Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulous. The show is Engineer Your Life, and I'm Lungelo okay? And welcome, Jessam Kize. Boo, 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 boo. Come as it. <laughs> San Bonan. How often do people call you that with your clan names? Um, a lot actually. Cause really? Because I, I feel like Um Kize covers it. Like, like Um Kize is very popular. Yeah, so like, everybody knows. So everybody's just like, Ma Vovo. Vo, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, ah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the la of just making you feel good when they're in your presence, right? Mm. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I like, like, I literally have my clan names tattered on my body. Really? So, all of them. I asked Lee, um, Celine Jove, a real housewife mm -hmm. of Durban, when mm -hmm. she was on that seat, um, mm -hmm. I'm like, do you think there is a trauma element or there was an excitement element or it was just a phase you were in when you took the decision to have a tattoo? Um, it was just a phase. I was just going on a bender because I got my first tattoo and then next thing I'm just like, I want to get more tattoos. So mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm. got like a plethora, no, not a lot of tattoos. I think I have three, mm -hmm. but the, this one is more sentimental. I feel like all the other tattoos, I'm trying to cover them up or just remove them completely. But this one is very sentimental because I'm just like, I'll forever be umkiza, even yeah, if yeah, you get shot yeah. that, but you're So I'm just like, hmm. What makes a person reach a decision to remove tattoos? Because... If we take it to people who are moral grandstanders, mm -hmm. they'd say you shouldn't have it in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, and when you now get a tattoo, and I've seen it with a lot of people who are digital media space, mm -hmm. they are all moving towards removing their tattoos or hiding them or covering them. What do tattoos represent later on in your life that you're now like, no, this is not me? Cause it's cause it's Ningi. We always do tattoos when we're younger, right? Okay. So it's like you get a tattoo because maybe your friend got a tattoo. You get a tattoo maybe because it looks cute. You're like, oh, a butterfly. I'd love a butterfly. And then, ten, fifteen years later, you're like, why did I just get random stars? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why did I just get hey, a random the stars? Like, they they, I got, got the stars. I'm trying to remove the stars. <laughs> I got the stars, so I'm literally trying to remove the stars. I'm just like, girl, plot got to get that was my first tattoos because mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I'm just trying to get something a little cute. I'm trying to be a gangster or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah. trying to tap my. But now I'm just like, mm. and the crazy thing is, I got my mom into tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Yo, mama on a tattoo now, and then she went and got another one. But like, we literally got matching tattoos, and our tattoo artist botched both our tattoos. Oh no! And I was just like. Mm -mm -mm. So you use the same tattoo artist and he screwed it. Yeah. I was just like, I'm trying to get a tattoo with my mama. He's like, no, I'm not good. I'm just like, no, but it's fine. You have... Ah! I, I don't want to show you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to show you. But like, I genuinely feel like so, some people get tattoo, uh, tattoos because they're sentimental or yeah. whatever. But I know when I got my first tattoo, it was just... You know, I just want to get a tattoo. I just want to, you know. That gangster phase. Yeah, gangster phase. I'm young. Yeah. Uh, I've got a flat waist. So why not tattoo my waist and stuff? Oh, and also, um, my tattoos are very strategic. So I have my tattoos around my, like, um, hip area because that's where I have, like, stretch marks. Okay. So, like, sometimes you just get a tattoo to just hide, a, um, I mean, cov um, cover maybe a scar or, for in, in my case, um, my stretch marks. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting you say that tattoos are, were linked personally for you to a gangster phase. Mm. Um, a phase that you are now saying you want to get rid of them, especially the ones that are not sentimental. Mm, mm. Would you also say it's linked to you getting rid of a gangster Jessica who is no longer that person? I'll be a gangster for life. <laughs> what? 
a gangster for life. I'm a gangster for life. So I think it's just growth and just just not finding them attractive anymore and also just change. I'm one person, I love change. One thing about me, I'm forever changing. I'm forever trying to just elevate and be better and Nginzis and differently. So I think for me, it's more of Ushinjo. I'm at a different stage of Wimpi Loyami. And it's so awkward whenever like you're wearing something and then someone's like, oh my gosh, that tattoo, what does it mean? And I'm like, oh girl, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. It's provocative. It gets the people going though. Yeah, so yeah, it's just... Yeah that do you enjoy the provocative attention though are you at a point are you a jessica who still enjoys being looked at at a provocative manner no some would say um always desired never fully loved through is that, that where you're saying you are and why are you trying to remove all these elements that are provocative um i think for me yes yes i 100 percent. but i think more than anything like, I've just reached a different level of mm -hmm. Impilo Yami, you know. Obviously, I'm still the same Jess, but I'm um, saying Kulile Manje. And again, with being on social media, like, how you portray yourself is how people take you, take you and receive you, yeah, you and perceive yeah, you. Yeah. You understand? So, because even now, when you look at my Instagram now, compared to how it was three or two years back, where it was predominantly a lot of bikinis looking... and. It, me being at that stage wasn't for the male gaze or anything like that, but it was just like, I'm finally coming into my elements. I'm finally, sure. you know, like I'm comfortable. I'm, I, I've accepted my body. I've accepted how I look and I'm okay with it. And I'm also like, not, not, not to say role model, but and who have my body type you could rock a bikini and still look good you sure. don't have to you understand sure. the way tight a beach or whatever but with that young little i'm not wrong okay. you know the wrong audience and okay. so now i think for me <clears throat> so you have other intentions but because of the nature of the internet mm, mm. you're garnering a negative element that is not you mm -hmm. that does not represent who that you are mm -hmm. and sometimes that even overpowers what you're trying to do exactly exactly it definitely does so i think i'm like you know, when, when you do um, Lama Lunduzana on Instagram, like the, the assumptions that people have about you, mm -hmm, I think that's mm -hmm. when it actually clocked. It was, oh my gosh. Like I did um, this video this one time of what assumptions do people have of me? Sure. Da, da, da. Where you leave and that then, question thing. The question yeah, thing yeah, is. Yeah, and then yeah. a lot of people were like, oh, you're a slay queen. Oh, you're this. Oh, you, baddie, baddie. you're a baddie. Oh, you got a sugar daddy. And I'm like, but it's Puma Piloko. Oh, Loko Puma from Injelo Kogangayo, Injelo Nduzan. So I've seen Nuguti, Injelo Kogangayo really does kind of sometimes... Communicates. Communicates. Yeah, in a day, message. A, a, a message to Abantu. And it attracts a certain type of Nduzan. Because I think if, even if to Amanjo Uyapega on my social media, there's less, like, bikinis, there's less, you know... Like prov I, I was never provocative though, guys. It was just bikinis. I stay in Durban also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like I always say that I'm like, guys, I'm from Durban. Durban, was she said 24, like yeah, 365 oh. days yeah. all year. Like yeah, literally, we yeah. never experience winter. I we live by the beach. Yeah. I am a mermaid at heart. I love the water. And it was just like, but man, I think saying figure to the point where there's a like balance, you know. So my, this is always my disposition towards mm -hmm. this argument of, for example, you went and put yourself dressed in a manner that shows your body in a positive light mm. because you wanted to be a light to a young girl who has a fuller body and you wanted her to see herself as mm. beautiful as well, mm. right? Amen. But remember, for example, if right now I, I was to walk out of this house, go to the shopping mall that's nearby, mm -hmm. I've got... A white coat mm -hmm. i've got a stethoscope mm -hmm. there is 90 percent of people who won't even talk to me but mm -hmm. their brain will calculate that i'm a doctor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm not a doctor i'm an engineer mm -hmm. by profession mm -hmm. so jess if you don't want to be perceived as morally degenerate a hoe or whatever people mm -hmm. use a baddie mm -hmm. don't post because Baddies at their core are associated with not being dressed, mm. with showing their behind. Mm. So I know that sometimes we say, no, I what I didn't mean to do it like this. Mm. But unfortunately, mm. he uniform yaga baddie. 
right? And, yes. and that's why I think it's important for you to highlight that you're deliberately changing, evolving into a person who doesn't mm. want to be portrayed mm. and thought of as that. Mm. And I think, I think that's where you're coming from and why your Instagram is showing in a different light. Exactly, exactly. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Because unfortunately, is with Pilagulo Leli. Ugu to wena, utabanga ne kandalako, or wena, this is, this, these were your intentions. People are not going to receive it as such. You understand? People are just going to receive you as Ugu And my thing is, again, I'm fully figured. So whatever I wear, I could literally wear a tight dress it's still viewed as provocative because mm -hmm. it's the curves, it's the boobs, it's... You understand? So it's like, I, I could never win. But now I just had to figure out in the logo team, I message I'm going to deliver. Sure. I think I'm still... In, transitioning. Transitioning. And yeah. like, cool little process, like, okay, fine. Because I'm going to understand. Because at the same time, I'm not trying to take away from Ubmina. Because... I enjoy looking sexy. I yeah, enjoy looking yeah. good. I enjoy um, showing which a bit of right skin. To. You understand? Yeah, which yeah. I have a right to. Yeah. You understand? So, and whenever I get messages from girls, young girls saying, oh my gosh, I, I never thought I could ever like wear a dress with, um, what are these called? Um, spaghetti straps. Yeah, yeah. But because of you, like oh, I wow. feel like I could do it because yeah, yeah. of you. I can finally wear Life's bikini. Changed. Like literally, yeah. I wear shorts at the beach and a t-shirt because I feel like I'm. I don't look good enough, and I'm just like, baby girl. You understand? So for me, I'm not again reiterating. I'm not doing it for the male gaze. I'm not doing it for attention. I know I look good. It's I don't need anyone else to tell me that. But I'm doing this for my girls. I'm doing this for my young. My sisters. You understand? My sisters. Yeah. You know. But now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just yeah. like, oh. but I'm a buddy. <laughs> I'm a buddy with my buddy friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, has this attention though, that male gaze, mm -hmm. and that attention that is not the one you were seeking for, has it made it difficult to be fully loved and be in a relationship oh, that is genuine? My goodness. My goodness. Yeah. I don't want to talk about this because this is going to piss me off. Yes, 100%. I don't know how many times I've lost out on like the potential of a great relationship sure. because of that. Because of Indlela. Not necessarily because of Indlela and Kogangai, but because of how I'm a, I'm a daughter view it okay. and how because it's like now i always have my guard up like especially if i meet a man through social media my guard is up because mm -hmm. i'm like like you're not here to get to know me and get to know who jess is but you're just here for you know so it like i'm not gonna lie it has made me so anxious with dating like it's different if i meet someone um on them kakoyin you or yeah, at a restaurant yeah, or wherever, yeah. but like online, I'm always just like side eye. I'm like funan wenela, uzo funan, you know. And it sucks because it's like dating should be fun. You shouldn't have your guard up and be like, mm -hmm, like you know. And it's like sometimes I always feel the need to explain myself. It's like whenever I meet a guy at a bar or something or yeah. at a restaurant, and then explain my social media handle. It's like I always kind of have to explain first. By the way, and it's like, why do I have to explain? Mm -hmm. Like, why do I have to explain myself? Oh, like, social media is just 10% of my... No, social media is actually... Like, what you see on my social media is kind of like 80% of people I am. And then the other 20 is obviously what people don't see. But it's like, I always feel the need to explain because it's like, you know, and then just... Or you know, like, 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 you know, you know, like, 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 they wrong. Yeah. They're trying to tap or they're trying to, you know, like clout or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how men think, but like it's terrible. Like it has made dating so difficult. And because this thing, if we're being honest, we live in a digital space, Manjena. That's where we get jobs. That's where we am at relationships. That's what's all I call Like that's where everything happens, Manjena. Like digital space. But Mina, if, I, if I'm keeping it a stack, if you approach me through Kwa Social, ish. Chances are very slim ah, get, that get you'll that. entertain it. Mm, mm, mm. You meet someone then at the restaurant organically, at, mm -hmm. at the shop, the mm -hmm. supermarket. Mm -hmm. You meet them, they ask for your number. Mm -hmm. you, go, you guys go on a date. Mm -hmm. 
then it's date number two where mm-hmm. it's so what do you do now you explain what you do and naturally then the social media will come up then the social the media human, will come out the mm. human then looks it up we mm. all do it Obviously. right mm, naturally is that the point that scares you a lot always the anxiety would after he looks this up there's explaining the, I'm, I'm meant to do can you explain like of nengwenze or you kona ushinjo le behavior you know cuz now it's just like Oh, you big on social? I'm like, dog, come on. Social How do they media, change in Social media is for banter. Um, Make an example of things that have happened to you where a man who you really liked or even loved mm. changed on you because of your following. Um, I was once like in a situation. Uh, let me try and think. One thing I, I cancel out don't get this is negative. But um, this one time, vibing with the guy, great. The vibes are cute. First date, second date. And then obviously now I'm explaining myself what I do. Okay, actually first date. Explaining myself. Putting in Zani, and then it's like, oh, okay. So you like predominantly on social media. Like, mm-hmm, you know, cute, cute, cute. It's like, oh, I'm going to like social media. I'm just like. Okay, cool. Next thing, this guy is like, man, you're calling me up, trying to like, it was like too soon. So he was trying to like, bring me to a party where his friends were there. I get that. And for me, it kind of gave, you're still trying to get to know me. And you, uh, you should be knowing I think me alone. It, alone. At this point, you can't be. And the, my thing, and the, is the subtle, I is um, like, he was like, Oh, my friends are gonna like geek out, you know, like I wanna man jana so we into uti aksamina segu lontuzan. Oh shag so I want to jump. So with Jessim Kiza from Instagram. Jessim Kiza from Instagram. Now I'm not okay, I almost said my government name. <laughs> now you're not Numpo Melel. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm I'm saying no pomelo, now I'm saying just chess, you know. Man, just saying good news and oh my friends are gonna oh uh, uh, uh. I'm just just like oh, damn yeah, you you you, yeah. you you blew it. You lo- you lost the authenticity of what we were building. Mm, yeah. You understand the way you get to know the girl behind all of this because if we're keeping it a stack, social my, for me as for other people, but for me social media is just my work. It's like an office, but it's actually a fun office. But like it's it's my work. It's the Agu Kobun Yeah, there there are elements of who I am because you do see my family when you look at my highlights you do see me and with my family which is something I don't like showing a lot of but like I do just so so because I feel like it's got this thing when you're on social media and you do have a following and it's like Abantu don't view you as human it's the craziest thing it's like because I even see when you see like you meet people I, I love the excitement when you meet people like um and then they're like ah screaming and just like babe i'm human it's fine like calm down it's okay i love it i'm not gonna lie it's like it makes me very happy because it's just like damn you got that excited just seeing little old me Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. but also at the same time it's just like i always like to show my human side you know and whenever i get comments like oh shucks like we are faggy or unamakaya you show that you show yourself cooking and liluene damn like what and i'm just like why is that such a shock you know, because it's like, yes, I can be a baddie. I can eat, okay, I can eat the sushi, but I can be my fancy restaurants, go to fancy events, but it's, I'm still in Ghana. Sure. It sure, couldn't go soup, sure. you know? So, I I think, yeah, you don't do that. Do you ever take accountability, though, as a person who's big on social media, that it's not always the man who comes into your life and wants to date De- Jess, the social media girl. But sometimes Jess, the social media girl, covers Numpumulelo up, kills Numpumulelo in that relationship, and Jess wants to be the celebrity of the relationship. Doesn't Jess sometimes do that and you're like, I need to change that? No, I think, Mina, one thing about me, my Kandalam is very level headed. Mm-hmm. Like, he, yeah, story, story, ah, ah. And then after that, see, I'm back to being mm, I'm back mm, to being mm. this girl. I'm back to being, yeah, like I'm relatable. I'd like to think I'm relatable. Sure. Like I'm, I'd love to think that I'm relatable. So, um, whenever I'm in relationships, it's never the social media, unless if I have an event or I have a campaign that I'm working on or whatever. That, but it's never Uguti. 
Well, in your relationship, I'll be the celebrity because as as I should be the celebrity of the relationship as I should. When as my man, you are just <laughs> my man. Me na dim or we spotlight when you like the balcony. You like you understand <laughs> but like it's not from a sense of I, I take that and then but at the end of the day it's just like I feel like he's certain just certain men just get intimidated by Izindo Leon Leo and I, I can't control that you know but I will give you my real self but also at the same time it's like now Musuk Fika and Uzo with that said, do you still believe genuine love is out there for you? Of course. Oh my gosh. One thing about me, I'm going to fall in love. I'm going to get married. Yeah. I'm going to have kids. Yeah. Life's going to be good. The side of the change. I'm going to get a But we're going to be out. You know, yeah. we're, going to, we're going to find love, even though it's going to be a bit hard. Because yeah. my thing is, I'm not looking for the next meal ticket out. You know, I'm not dating from a point of survival. Sure. For me, it's. I just want to find like genuine love and this is why genuine oh, commitment genuine, genuine, genuine correct, commitment yeah genuine like, connection right you know and I think that's the most important thing and it's one of the things I always preach Ugo team as a woman as a young woman as a young beautiful successful smart woman never ever date from a point of survival this is why it's very important as I as far as you need to have your own you know you need to handle your own you need to stand on business you know you need to hustle my thing is I don't like working hard. I work smart. One thing, I will never work hard, ever. Like, I believe in working smart. I believe in harnessing, like, Natin, Utate is in the days all good at, and then Utate is in the days all good So, you get me? Yeah. So, that's just me. It's one thing I always preach. You guys, find what you're good at, mm -hmm. find into le. Equenza, like he, I know I'm good at speaking. I'm very good with people. I'm good with, like I was interacting about to naturally. I just love people. Guy chat alone to leo and then guy seven zisa. I'm good. A a a tumbe ni atan to pause. That fell into my lap. The modeling thing, um, and social media and everything. So, and genza loko manje at the moment and my business of course. But like just that. I never like like Ngalala Mondays. Mondays are Sundays 2.0. But Gegek Fige, a random guy, just Kozune Mali, Ezong Luduzanana, H. Luguti, they'll just have their way or I'll just be weak in the knees. No, no, no. It's like, what what do you have to offer besides offering Imali, whatever? Because one mm -hmm, thing, mm -hmm. I can take myself on that trip. I can do, I can buy myself, I can do my own hair, my own nails. It's you know, so what else do you have to offer besides capital? Why is marriage such an important container for you to contain that love? Why not have a life partner? Why, oh, no. Why not choose just to fall in love and travel with someone? Why? Because you specifically said marriage and kids. Marriage, marriage why, and kids. Why does that container matter to you? Because that's what everyone says. Actually, it doesn't matter to me. Because my mom is not married. She's happy. Gorgeous. She looks... 10, 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. She even looks younger than me, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think it's due to the fact that I'm going to stress some shit. And my thing... <laughs> 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 I'm going to stress some shit. And yeah. my thing is, it's like, if I do get married, yay, I would love that. But if I don't, again, I'm okay. My thing is, I need to have money. I need to, like, live up to my potential. I need to make myself proud and make my parents proud and travel the world and just be a dope chick if it happens i do find the love of my life great if i do have kids oh awesome but if i don't again it's not going to be the end of the world what will be the end of the world if i don't succeed like i think that's my own danger fear and yeah so um, it's just i think it, it it's what everyone says everyone's just like oh, get married why could one one white picket fence ah, have, the, have the dog have them the easy. range rover with my babies at the back ah nah I'd rather, i'm okay with having a two-seater <laughs> <laughs> jess you speak about wanting success so much who do you pray to uh god mm -hmm. and then my I don't pray to my ancestors, but I feel like I'm, my because I'm very cultural. Like in Guasenga and La, in Gakolelwa, in Madlozini, but I do like I'm a Christian also. I believe in God, and my my thing, Idlozi for me is like the middleman between 
God and Mina or Sapila like Mshabin because they've passed on. So they are able to deliver a message to Unkul. That's how that's how I mean I view it. So I why the disclaimer? Cause eh, abaz ab ab like I feel like abanda ba ningi feel like he uba Christian or uba like whatever cultured whatever culture eh or whatever religion you choose and the idrosi don't mix. Cause some people ba ba deep into like. If they pray to Amadlos, it's just Amadlos pen. Okay. If I pray to Unkunungul, it's just Unkunungulu pen. If I'm doing it both, it's like you're cheating on either the, side. Uh, yeah, you understand? Or you're doing it wrong. But Mina, I, that's how I view it. For me, it's. Where was, do they meet? Where do they meet? For me. Yes. Which is what I was saying. Would he, yeah. For me, it was for me is like the middleman okay. cuz these are people that have passed on you understand so i feel like they have a better connection to god than i do so if i tell my ancestors oh, this is what i need this is what i want they can relate the message to god for me even though yes i will pray but they are they middleman when you pray what do you usually say like what's the most common thing you think this has carried me because in my prayers i consistently speak about this to god i think for me more than anything I don't really pray for stuff, but I always, I'm always just grateful and thankful, you know, gratitude. Cause I feel like I've just been so blessed, bruh. Like every single time I just think of my life and the way my life just turned out, I'm just blessed. It's like, I know what's in Kulunkulu. We are Zenzis into Zenzige for me. And it's like, for me, more than anything, it's just like being thankful for my parents, for the work that I do, for my, like the house that I have, for my friends, for people that are around me. Because honestly, I have it good. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. Like, yes, out of life. And I know I'm going to get there. But I think more than anything, I'm just so appreciative of where I'm at and what I have and the people that I have around me. Because... I just have people who are rooting for me, people that, that I don't even know, man. Yeah, like, people yeah. who, who mention my name in large rooms. Like, I always say, guys, the campaigns that I've gone, like, previous years and even last year, Nkulos and Kulumelu last year, are through people mentioning my name in, sure. like, in spaces. like, spaces, you understand? And these are these are people that are abanyang bazi, like, like, on a personal level. Tolo Sazana on social media. We just chat on social media. So, for me, it's just like, do you know how much of a blessing that is? You understand? To have someone who doesn't know you but is rooting for you. Someone, oh, TJ, I want to see you win. You understand? My parents, very supportive. Because I have a degree, but I chose not to see it through. And I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm just going to freelance and see the modeling thing if it works see if the content creation thing works i'll start a few business here and there see if they work and my parents are like go off with your bad little self we're just gonna support you so that on its own is such a blessing because i have a stepmom who's amazing my dad amazing my mom amazing my friends amazing like gosh i like, love that you speak about your dad as amazing because it's not a narrative that is driven a lot in this day and age mm -hmm. about amazing dads existing um I'll, I'll just you you can take as long as you want what oh. makes your dad amazing oh i'm gonna start crying don't mm, mm, mm. no 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 not my makeup mm -mm. see Ushilo always says you're gonna make me cry <laughs> i don't like you <laughs> and i put mascara and not mascara eyeliner and it's not waterproof uh, stop it okay but my dad guys my dad Daddy, where the camera's at? Daddy? Yes. MVP, like my dad is... Tell me about dad. No. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I don't bring any extra makeup. I might be going out on a date after this. <laughs> yeah, but my dad... Oh my gosh. Like my dad is amazing. Like my dad... <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <clears throat> like my dad is like so amazing, you guys. Like what an exceptional man. So um, what makes him amazing? Yeah. Like he's just a great dad, man. Like for someone who didn't have it easy, like he's, he's great. And my dad has a lot of kids also. Like my dad has a lot of kids. My dad doesn't really like... 
you know sure. he i think he has level two or level three of education like grade three education but he he was able to like a sugar from nothing sure. like literally when i say nothing mm -hmm. that man mm -hmm. moved to johannesburg oh like he had nothing and he was the only boy yeah so he was the only one who was able to end his because obviously we put him elusa and all of that. So like he just came from nothing. And my thing is for someone on a fundile, but to just be so great and like be so except like I look up to my dad because my dad we are Sebenza and yeah, he yeah, is yeah. like okay I'm not gonna say he's rich as hell. But like he he's doing very well for himself, and he from afforded a who came from nothing, from nothing. Yeah. and he afforded me such an amazing life. Sure. Like this is why I get I never struggled. Yeah. Like I'd be lying in front of the people if I said, "Yo, I mean, it was hard." Sasi was No, I went to the best schools. Um, like he, he showed me love the best way he could. Like my dad is not the type of man to be like yeah, yeah, yeah. but demonstration, like actions. the actions, actions, and this is and being this is present, why committed. being present, committed, um, showing up every yeah, single time. Yeah, I need, yeah. I could call him now if I were getting yeah. within a second he'd be well he'd figure out a way to be here because he's in Durban yeah. and he hates flying. But like that man is just all round bro. Like yonki into engi dingai out of life and it's like he just loves me so much bruh you yeah. know and i think for me this is why even dating has been so difficult because he's he's the staple he's the he, standard he's the standard i look at You're that like, this is how a this, man must love a woman this is how a man must love a woman this is how a man must treat a woman like when sure. i'm around my dad uncle bozzy pants it's like i don't walk on like oh my. literally you understand so for me like my dad would do the cutest thing because i recently just moved out of home mm -hmm. and he was upset about that but because i'm so obsessed with my dad literally my apartment is a few houses away from <laughs> With my dad's house. So literally, I would walk home every morning to make him porridge or whatever, make him oh food. And then we'll walk back to my place. And whenever he comes back from work, um, he'd literally drive by my house, leave a matishu, drive by my house, leave it drink, drive by my house, leave some meat. What do you need? He knows what I like. Like, guys, oh my God. Like, I have the best dad ever. Like, he is just... I'm obs like I literally wanna wear him like nothing I'm as yeah. Beyonce would say like I wanna live in his skin okay yeah. I, I hope that's not weird guys yeah but I just not love at my, all. Not like at I just all. love my dad so much it'll like, only be weird to a person who's projecting a mm. dad's love that they've never known mm. no that yeah. amen to that yeah. but no like I don't wanna lie to you like my daddy and we are no muntu you know because my mom had to leave and and my mom had her family here in, in Joburg so my mom stays here and then and literally my dad would have me at the back of his car because he's a taxi owner so he's going to um Renki to monitor work or whatever. I'd be at the back of the car sleeping, wake up, have uh, all pie. Yeah, I, I used to love a steak and kidney back in the day. He'd buy me four pies and KFC like la. KFC, I was trying to some pizza <laughs> la, like what? <laughs> <laughs> but like literally, he's just so amazing. Like even yesterday, like he calls, he's like, hey, Gabona, calling me cuckoo, like two again net. All right, I'm like, I'm okay, daddy. Were you worried? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get me. He's like, when are you coming back anyways? I'm just like, I'm coming back. Relax, nigga. Yes, no, ma. Relax, baby. He's like, oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. And then I'm like, I love you. He's like, okay. That, that's the same thing. <laughs> you know, so, but, oh, man, like, what a, oh, I just, I'm, it's one thing I wish on every young girl, you know, on, in Dombazan, it's very important to have a father figure, in Pilonyako, and a father figure who will really show up because, that has shaped Intlela and Jolanga. You Intlela, you understand? Mm. Like right now, Minangege and excuse my language, young child, I'm a simp because it's just like sweethearts. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying that in this tough world for young black women, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. a, w a world that is very harsh to the young black woman, mm -hmm. you're saying a father's love builds a confidence that is unimaginable. Out of this world. Out of this world, my darling. Because my thing is, I don't settle for anything. 
Do you understand? Cause he gitandi women gina lutandi biloniam. Like I am loved as hell. So my thing is, it's just like gives you the ability to recognize a love that's not good for you from far. Oh, from a mile away. You you see bullshit from a mile away. Cause you just like ah nya cloka. Sorry, sweetheart. Yeah. That's not gonna work. You know that's not because I've seen with friends of mine who don't have father figures in Bill and Zabo and Mina and Inlela in Inlela it's menuvanga you through my relationship it's very different and I'm like hmm okay so this is why also it's so important when you give me an example of something where a person who has a loving father like yourself mm -hmm. and how you've maneuvered versus a friend obviously not sharing their name to protect mm -hmm. their dignity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um how they've maneuvered in a similar situation um let me think of something <sighs> let me try and think of something like for me ne? um Oh gosh, I had an example, but like I, I keep losing it. Shucks. A man comes to you, and I'm sure this has happened to okay, you. Okay, yeah. A man it. you haven't mm -hmm. dated very long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He comes to you and says, Jess, I want to make you pregnant. <laughs> oh girl. Get somebody else to do it. Make me pregnant. Yeah. Like, no. Cause okay, step one. And I wanted to touch on this. Would he? Again, it's very important because it says Soba and I don't have a kid. So Sazoba yeah. and It's very important to go team. Martin, whoever umundos or men are your baby daddy. Because guys, we choose. We choose these things. So, okay, sometimes it happens by mistake and then you get. It's still a choice. Uitole, uitole. Mistake is a choice. <laughs> and it is. Exactly. And it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> but like, and then you show it's him. It's very important to choose your baby daddy wisely. You sure. or, or the man that you're in a relationship. She go to some baby daddy work. The minute I get into a relationship with you, Gipega is in danger of what if God for or well not God forbid, how guys. Um, <laughs> if it so happens, yes. That yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But if it so happens, Uguti. Give me it. Yeah. Are you gonna be a great father? Yeah. Are you gonna be a great lover to me even after? Are you gonna be this? Are you gonna be that? Cause you, we date nothing as niggas or oh, nothing as men, mm -hmm. and then expect them to be exceptional fathers. Sure. Mm. Like he was already a piece of shit when you were with him. And you expect him to be a great dad. And you settled, settled, and you settled, settled, settled my settled. darling. You settled. Year three, you become pregnant. Year three, year three, you become pregnant. And you expect a miracle when it comes to father. So, so oh my gosh, he's going to be a great dad. Ah! No. Ish. No. No. It doesn't happen like that. You understand? Like, he, from the beginning, he has a good relationship now. He has a good now. Because you are his first love, if we're keeping it a stack. In Ghana, that's okay about the but oh, that's not first love. But like to be quite honest, your lover, your partner, that's your first love. You understand? So for me, and Jay, hey bo, minum to like hey bo, hey bo, guys. Actually, we need to get to this example because I need to, I need <laughs> to make an example, guys. But it's like for me, it's like things like. Small red flags. Okay. Like burgundy flags. Let's call them burgundy. Let's okay. not call them red. Okay. Let's just say they're burgundy. Yeah. Burgundy flags are red flags to me still. Okay. Because okay. I'm just like... What's a burgundy flag? One example. Like a burgundy flag is like someone being like... Um, Who takes back only every five hours. Oh, no. I don't like calls. Um, okay. I mean, I like texting. Only I, I happen like to. Calls. I happen to like calls. I mean, one thing about me, I will jump on a call. Yeah, yeah. Like, you love texter, you will never... I will jump on a call. So, now, you come into my life, and then you tell me. And I tell you. I mean, one thing about me... Besakala ukuluma, I will tell you my expectations. Ksaeli, like he called me forward or whatever, but I will tell you what I like and what I don't like. And if you feel like you can't deliver, then you need to move out of the line, let the next person come in. It's just that simple. So for me, if I tell you, listen, I like calls and I know that you like texts, 
I will meet you halfway, get text here and there, but I expect you to call me. I As expect well. you to check up on me and make sure. It's over. And it's over for real. Because I stand on business. My dad calls me every single day. Okay, I'm not saying what's imagine the competition, but Lisa to Uba Buami. But Mina, that, that was my first love. Standard. That was the standard. You understand? So now it's just like, if you can't meet a simple standard as a call, a simple standard as Uguti, then what's the point, babe? Because it's also, again, we're going back. I know I'm a baddie. And I know Uguti, the world is my oyster. Like... I can get whatever I want. Yeah. And if we're not, yeah, but so, but, but whereas, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to necessarily blame this on, uh, there's other factors as uh, we get involved, but I will say, I'm not going to 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 say, it's like, ah, no, bro, but we can overlook that because, you know, it's all about compromise. It's all about, like, understanding. I got what time I called, so I'll just start texting. Why do you have to be the one compromising? And then, you know, I was compromising. It's okay. I'm going to meet halfway in as much as I'm going to send my calls, but I will try and call you in the morning. You get? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it's like, man, you stand on business because it's like, I, I am my father's daughter. Like, mm. so, nah, like, nah, it's like, okay, cool. We've all gone through pain. We've mm. all gone through failures. Mm. Uh, by the way, I love failure, which is something that people it's a stepping find, stone to break. It's find um, problematic. Maybe failure needs to be redefined or the word needs to change because it's so highly, wrongly stigmatized. Mm. But without failure, there's no success. Oh, Again, Abelungo Batini, failure is a stepping stone to greatness. Absolutely. For me, failure is, it's, it's, it's just another iteration, right? It sucks though. It absolutely sucks in certain mm. elements, but it doesn't always suck. Let me make an example. Mm. Okay. Um, for, a, for a person who's doing well, for a, for a Trevor Noah, mm. right now, mm -hmm. if you can go to his Instagram... He is overwhelmed by people who love his work. Mm. But if you dig deep, there's at least 100 comments who say, you are stupid, you suck. You're not Why? funny. You're not funny. Mm. You're not good enough. Mm. Maybe 15 to 20 years ago, he considered that as a failure and mm. failure in its normal terms. Mm. But today it's noise. Because it, 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 steps, it stepped him up. Mm. Today it's not just noise, it's helping him and his algorithm, he's making him more famous, mm. a bigger audience. Mm. As we know in social media, each comment adds to your analytics. Exactly. It's just making him more famous, more, exactly. more bigger. Would you say there is failure that you've gone through that was so painful, you wish you had never gone through it? No, which is crazy. Yeah. I'm scared now. I'm shaking. No, actually. Like, I feel like, for me, I kind of view failure the same way as you view it. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not failure. It's just like, that wasn't my time. Yeah. I think for me, it's just that. Like, it wasn't the moment. Prob probably I've gone through something, but because in rationalizing you and the way I process things, it's, it just wasn't my time. And it wasn't the door that was supposed to happen. It's like everything happens for a reason. Can I take you further? Yes. Beyond saying it wasn't my time. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that wasn't my time also exonerates us from taking responsibility. Mm. Sometimes I say, I messed up. I, I take the L. <laughs> I messed up. I messed this relationship. This was a good person. Mm. I did this mm. wrong. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to apologize. And in my next relationship, I won't make the same mistakes. I'll do things differently. Different iteration in relationships. Accountability. Accountability, right? Mm. So sometimes failure is fully our responsibility. It was actually your time, but you didn't you go You just to, didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. It mm. was your time, but you didn't submit the music to the radio station. Hence, you don't have the biggest song of the year. Period. Go, uh. go start again. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think I think Leon Jela Le Yami Yogu Tingiti. It wasn't my time. Yeah. It is kind of in Jelo Asha from Uguti. Yeah. I was on you didn't put in the work. Yeah. I think for me, my biggest failure was my my business. And I keep making excuses because it was going great up until looting happened in Durban. When did looting happen? 
I don't even remember. But it's like the one excuse that I always make would say, oh no, when people are like, hey, when when are you dropping something? Year, when are you this? This is year three after the looting, by the way. <laughs> but you see the importance exactly, of such exactly. conversations mm. where we recognize the mm. things that are very important to our lives mm. Mm. or the things that we were on the right trajectory on mm. Mm. but we we, we, we we dwelled too much on the negativity mm. that was happening mm. Mm. so if we take accountability we can mm. bounce back we can bounce back I even think if you mm. oh, but you will be back you will be back yeah, yeah I think I think I definitely 100% agree with that because the the like for me, I think that was my biggest L, mm. my my business, because yeah, I see Kala and it was doing so well, and that happened, and then after that happened, I was just like despondent. Boo, boo, boo. For those and who don't then, know, what was the business? Oh, it's Luna Roots, mm -hmm. Luna Roots, guys. Check me. Out. Okay, don't check me out yet. Don't check. I went to check me out, but um, it's basically check um, her out. Please check me out. <laughs> 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 but it's like um clothing line. Okay. Um I wanted to make impata for all my girls, but specifically my curvy girlies, you know, my fully figured girls. Because mm -hmm. Because you know how disheartening it is to go to um Gabe. Like to go to um a store to buy clothes and it's like for someone slimmer there's these cute outfits like cut outs in in but for fuller figured uh girlies it's like it's more conservative it's more the kind of my baddies are fuller figured who want to show skin who want to look like baddies but at an affordable you know like for an affordable price because sure. also in battles about fully figured are just more expensive i know for really? me, yes i know for myself i mean when i go buy to buy bras oprah wa 32 c no bra got forty e, different prices. That could be hundred and fifty. My bra is gonna be three fifty. It's crazy because that should be the same logic used in shoes then, but it's not used. Like shoe That's sizes it. are not the same as humans, but we pray the same price. Literally, if you could go to ama shops right yeah, now, yeah. especially ama shops lower at like like undergarments or whatever, you'll see the prices are completely different. So for me, I wanted to breach that gap. Would say, listen, you will look sexy on a budget. Step one. And you're going to look good as hell. So that was just... And, and this year, I promise, it's on camera. Mm, you guys mm, can mm, mm, mm. drag me if I, I do nothing about it. But this year, I'm coming back. And yeah. Right now, we're in the first quarter of 2024. Yeah, which I'm, now you need to give me which quarter of 2024 are we getting the business back? Because here, we believe in commitment and taking charge of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for putting me on the spot cuz damn it. Um I'll say the second quarter. Okay. Cuz I think the first quarter ngifuna ugu I just want to do it right. Okay. And also capital cuz obviously the capital logic will be pumang min. So that means I need to work first for me to get the capital to do what I need to do, you know. So And also you've recognized what you did wrong. Mm, mm, yeah. A mm, mm, 100%. 100%. So second quarter definitely Luna Roots is coming back. Uguti enyinto u Luna Roots is just summer way. Like I'm not planning on really doing anything winter related or anything like that. It's bikinis, it's tight dresses, it's you know just very summer, very like show your skin, look good, like J type of vibe. But like yeah, definitely second quarter. Like what design but mean? The year is. 2040, yes. 2040, right? Yes. We're in 2040 now. We're using our time machine on the 2024? show. 2024? No, I'm, you get me. Oh, okay, okay. Right now, we are we're in 2040, right? Okay, 2040. Yeah, 2040. Uh, I believe you're a mom. You've got, by God's grace, a beautiful daughter. Ah, not a she's, daughter. She's watching this um, because the internet, everything lives forever. Mm -hmm. In a minute, what are you saying to her? To my daughter? Yeah. Don't let nobody mess with you, girl. Don't let nobody mess with you. <laughs> but what I'm going to say to my baby girl, hey, Apple, because I'm going to call her Apple. I love yeah. apples. Hey, Apple, how you doing, baby girl? I love you. Your mama love you. She cute and whatever. But all I'm going to say to my baby girl is 
don't let the world play you yeah like step one don't let the world play you don't let the world tell you you're not good enough don't let the world tell you you're not sexy enough you're not smart enough you are not you you you're not enough you know you are enough go for whatever oifunayo whatever it is that you want go for it my baby girl and just be great you know and change the world however loko go go enem kondo any but in whatever that you do make sure we see in as much as it's for you but it's also changing the world it's also just ubeki footprint yakho ezweni ukuthi nami ngalenze ushintsho you get me don't be a little harlot but change the world jessim kize mm -hmm. what's the one thing in life you know for sure you like this thing i'm absolutely certain of then i'm going to be successful okay yeah If God keeps me yeah. in this green earth, I will be hella successful. So I think that's one thing I am 100% sure of. I will do great things and I will change a lot of lives. So yeah. Her name is Jess Jess Mkize, uh, stage name. Her real name is Numpumelelo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lungelo KM, the show is Engineer Your Life. As you've seen, um, there's mm. elements of growth, mm. there's elements of building, right, uh, her brand, there's elements of building into being, uh, being a more wiser woman. Mm. She's very self-confident and she's very assertive in mm. how she delivers her message. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you subscribe, I hope you like, I hope you continue sharing the content and you can follow Jess on her Instagram. It's So I am Jess J E double S underscore Mkize. Um, Jessica Mkize on Facebook. I still have Facebook. Don't judge me. Um, Twitter. Okay, no, don't follow me on Twitter because I don't do much on Twitter. And then wait, TikTok. Jessica Mkize zero. So follow your girl. DM me. Let's talk. Let's vibe. Let's collab. Let's do everything right. Per love you guys. Jess Mkize. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Was This was good? so fun. Really? <laughs> <laughs>